Hi everyone, welcome back to Climate Cuisine, my mini series on sustainable cooking. Today's episode, I will be making a basil lemon pasta. This is a really delicious meal. It's, it's really great for spring and summer because basil is such an easy summer herb grown in a lot of places, or you could even have it on your counter. So here is my basil plant. As you can see, parts of it are a little bare because I just used a bunch of this for this recipe. So I just keep this on my countertop by the window and it sustains itself pretty well. I water it about every two to three days whenever it looks a little wilty and it's very easy to maintain. So I highly recommend having herbs like this in your kitchen. It's a great way to not have to pay a bunch of money at the grocery store getting herbs that are picked. And those tend to go bad pretty quickly, so I love using this method. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and let's get into it. The ingredients you're going to need for this recipe are pasta, preferably a wide noodle such as linguine or this cool pinoni, lemon, broccoli or broccolini, red bell pepper, arugula, basil, onion, garlic, roasted unsalted cashews, sun-dried tomatoes, olive oil, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. So you're going to start by filling a large pot with water and boiling it on the stove. Make sure at this point you salt your water because it helps flavor your pasta. And while you're waiting for that to boil on the stove, you can prep the few veggies for this recipe. You're gonna cut up your onion, garlic, bell pepper, and broccoli. Cutting the veggies is pretty straightforward. You're gonna dice your onion, cut up your bell pepper, cut up your broccoli off of the stem, and I minced my garlic. Then after this, you're going to prep your pasta sauce. This does not need to be cooked. You're gonna to toss all the ingredients into a blender and set it aside for when your dish is ready to be completed. So the ingredients in the sauce are cashews, lemon, your basil, water, and salt. And I added a little bit of garlic to this as well. Now, I have tried this recipe before where I added all of the garlic in the recipe to the sauce and I found that it was very strong and pungent because it doesn't cook for very long. Even though I am a garlic lover, it can really overpower this dish. So if you cook it in with your other vegetables, that is how I prefer to make this. Now, everything is prepped. So once your water is boiling, you can throw your pasta in. I used about half of my bag. You're going to let this cook until it's al dente, but about one to two minutes before it's cooked to that point, you're going to add in your broccoli. The next step while your pasta is cooking to cook your veggies. So I took another pot. This one is actually the bigger one because that's where we will finish the pasta. So if you have two different sized pots, like a smaller and a bigger one, I suggest using your smaller one to cook the pasta and the bigger one to cook all of the veggies and finish your dish in. So you're going to add a little bit of oil to your skillet. I use olive oil, heat it over medium heat and add in your vegetables. So I started off with the onion and the bell pepper because those cook at similar times. I let those soften up a bit and added some salt and pepper. This was about three to five minutes. And once those have softened, you're going to add some sun-dried tomatoes and your arugula to the skillet. Remember that arugula will cook down a bit, kind of like spinach does when you cook it, so you can add a nice handful. And you wanna cook all of that for about one to two minutes until your arugula softens. So once your pasta and broccoli is done cooking, you can go ahead and drain it, but make sure you save about a cup of pasta water. And then you can add those to your softened vegetables. You can go ahead and mix that around, and then you can pour in your pasta sauce that you made. And you're going to toss it to combine and let it cook together a little bit. Then you can add in a little bit of the pasta water that you reserved to let the sauce and everything emulsify together nicely. And after that, your dish is finished. So this is a really good way to kind of bring some good summer flavors to a pasta dish. And it is relatively healthy. You're always welcome to use another type of pasta. Maybe you have a favorite kind, the ones you like to use, you're welcome to. I used a shape that I thought was fun and it was similar to rigatoni. I think that that type of noodle fits this dish pretty well. 
because the pieces of vegetables and sauce can kind of get inside the noodle and be a nice bite. I hope you try out my recipe and enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments. If you do, I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want, you can like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.